Uh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to update you about the uh, what happened yesterday when we took our little rabbit named Pudding in a in the bed. So because we don't have a uh, <clears throat> cage, guys, a uh, hand cage. So we use our uh, washing basket and then I put a towel on top of it because uh, Pudding is uh, feeling sick yesterday. Our rabbit is feeling sick yesterday and we are so worried what to do. So we decided to bring him to the bed and we get there around uh, 6 o'clock and then they we hand the rabbit to the uh, one of the receptionists and we are outside the clinic they don't let us inside the clinic so we went to the uh, garage in their parking space in their parking area so we have to wait the result so and then the guy came 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 with us after about 10 minutes examining our rabbit named pudding uh we sense that uh it's gonna be a bad news so he told us that our uh, poorly rabbit got a myxomatosis i don't know about this kind of illness but um i researched in the google that myxomatosis is a severe uh, disease that affects the rabbits so it's a kind of virus that uh, attacks their eyes, their skin, their lungs, their liver, and their genitals. And then uh, he told us that there's no cure for this kind of virus. And um, I'm really, really sad and shocked with this result that they cannot cure it anymore. So they give us an option, guys, that... Uh, we have to to prevent the rabbit our little rabbit uh, prevent from uh, suffering uh, they give us an option to put him to sleep so this is a kind uh, uh, kind thing to decide to do with the rabbit so that uh, to prevent him from uh, suffering because guys, I noticed yesterday that uh, pudding is a uh, difficulty in eating and drinking. And then when I touch him on and put him in my lap, his pore is uh, losing his pore. And uh, he got difficulty in breathing as well. And then he got, I saw there is a milky eyes in his eyes. So I don't know about this kind of... Uh, myxomatosis and then one thing more this is a wake up call to all who have rabbits that you need to if you have a rabbit that uh, pet rabbit i should say to prevent this kind of uh, virus or disease um, i reckon or I advise you that uh, you need to vaccinate them as early as four weeks old so you don't have to experience what we have experienced yesterday. We are emotional because we we are touched. It's, a, it's like a part of our family. This is our pet. So when we bring home, it's really emotional. We put him in a box and then uh, we decided to bury him uh, in our garden near, near the... Uh, in our graves where he normally uh, play so guys this is a wake, wake up call to those who have rabbit who have pets i advise you guys that uh, you need to visit your uh, your pet and get them vaccinated so unfortunately we lost our uh, little rabbit yesterday named pudding so we got one more uh, rabbit and then we will going to vaccine it later so because we are worried that uh, because this kind of disease is contagious 
So we have to prevent one of our rabbit named Trickle. It's still in the cage, guys. And we have an appointment tomorrow at 9 a.m. for his vaccination. So make sure that uh, he won't catch this kind of myxomatosis. If he get this, uh, he only suffers scar or uh, he won't die. So better, the early the better, you need to vaccine your uh, pet rabbit if you have one. Because what happened to us, guys, is really awful. This is our first time to uh, take care of a rabbit. And, rab and pudding is uh, really, uh, how do you call that? Uh, we miss him a lot because uh, we spend time together uh, in one of my channel in YouTube. And uh, it's a little cheeky monkey, but um, we miss him, his uh, charisma, his character. Uh, is uh, is every rabbit is uh, different because pudding the rabbit is uh, one of my apple of my eyes than the other one. I like more this uh, the one who died because there is a character on him that I don't know why I like him much than the other one. But um, anyway, I'm not uh, to be fair. I like them both, but. There's something on this rabbit that um, it cuts my heart. So guys, uh, this is a wake-up call to those who have a pet. Please uh, go and visit your uh, pet and get them vaccinated so that you won't uh, experience this um, hard time. Because uh, pudding is only uh, about more than seven months old, guys. It's still very young. And uh, according to the... Because we, we are living here, that we, uh, it's all uh, gated, our uh, back garden. I don't know why uh, he cuts that kind of uh, disease. But according to the bed, he can cut it from the police and the mosquitoes. Maybe mosquitoes uh, beat him or at night time. So it's better to keep your rabbit indoors. Uh, it's really awful, guys. We're still gripping our loss to pudding. So guys, um, we are saddened and sad for what happened yesterday. We buried him already, but unfortunately, he did not uh, survive. So our little body was already in peace. He's already, uh, he's already passed away. So um, this is a lesson to, to us. It's our first time to take care of a rabbit. That we need to vaccine them as as early as four weeks old so thank you guys for watching and just to update you the result of what happened yesterday please subscribe and like my channel if you like it to so update you all the uh, regarding my uh, updated to my rabbit and then yesterday i'm going to update you again about the bed for trickle thank you for watching